Hi everyone, I'm Carrie with PMC Supplies and you are probably here because you either make rings or you like to buy rings and you wanna make sure they fit you. So say you have a ring. The first thing I really want to do is check for real the size of this. The box says it's a six, but I'm gonna check. So I'm gonna use this mandrel and yes, it, it is a size six. Perfect. And then I want to check the finger that I want this ring to be on. And I think I want it to be about a seven. So here is a tool that you would use to check a ring size. This is a seven, it's good. So if I want this ring to fit on my middle finger, I need to go up a little bit. The ring stretcher comes with a nylon base, which I am going to put on something else to dampen sound. The nylon base is fine to use on its own, but I am going to use this extra base here. And then here I have a hollow slotted mandrel. You can see that there are steps and it's hollow so I can put this piece inside. One thing you could do is keep the plastic that the ring stretcher arrives in. It will have a slight coating of oil inside and that will help protect the piece when you put it away. So here's my ring, put it on here. So now I'm gonna take a rubber mallet. You can also use rawhide or brass and all of that is of course available on pmcsupplies.com. And I'm going to very gently stretch this ring. Something you're going to want to do as well is stop here and there and just check the sizing again. I wouldn't just keep hammering away. You don't wanna stretch it too far. It is a ring stretcher and you can't go backwards. This is not a ring reducer. We do sell a tool that is much larger, much less portable that can do both for you and you can buy that as well. But this is great if you're going to take it on the road with you, if you're going to craft fairs or if you're just looking to do a little bit of resizing. Avoid using rings that have jewels. You don't want them to become misshapen or to pop out. You also want to make sure you're using softer metals. You don't want to use something like titanium on here. It's not going to stretch. I'm going to hold this onto the nylon base. I don't want to knock it off. So here, this piece is sliding down into the hollow mandrel and expanding the piece below it. I can see it expanding. I don't wanna to go too far, so I'm going to take this off and check really quick. Here's the thing. You've been hammering this in pretty hard. This is gonna be in there pretty good from all of your hammering. So a suggestion for you is to get it back out, use your mandrel, put it into the bottom, which is also hollow, and you can slide it up, or if you need to, you can also use your mallet and pop this back off. So this will come off, take your ring off, then you've got your mandrel handy, and you can check your size. While you're hammering this, the splines are going to expand and push it down so that it gets larger. I've been tapping away for a little while. You don't want to rush this. You do want to go gently. You don't want to stretch the ring too quickly. So now I'm going to check my progress. It's actually about six and three quarters, which might be even better than a seven. I'm going to try that on. Perfect. This ring stretcher is portable and affordable. Just make sure you don't go too far. You can't unstretch your ring. You can't go back to whatever size you wanted if you go too far with this tool. Thank you for watching. Check back in with us again soon. We're always gonna post new videos for you. Make sure you like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram.